Well, hey guys, and welcome back to Hey, It's a Good Life. I'm so glad you're here because today we're gonna feed the worms. So today I'm going to be adding a smoothie to our vermicompost. In learning more about vermicomposting, I've realized that worms like rotten things, but they also like things that can be easily digested. It will take them a lot longer to go through an apple core, for example, versus the smushy insides of an avocado. So today we're going to blend up their food and make it easy for them to digest. And then we're also going to add some brown matter as well. So first things first is I've got my handy blend tech, which still has remnants of celery juice in it. Are you guys on this whole celery juice train? Because I'm drinking it today and I'm noticing that I actually feel really good. Like I feel like I had a cup of coffee without the negative side effects of coffee. So that's kind of exciting. If you guys like celery juice, hit that thumbs up, let me know. Um, okay, so pretty much all that's left to do is we're literally just going to blend up the bananas and the avocados. These bananas and these avocados I've left out to ripen and borderline rot because something I've learned about worms is that they don't like food that's not rotten, basically. It needs to be going through the decomposition process for them to be even interested in it. So hopefully these will be some tasty treats for them. So I'm actually just putting them with the skin on because I hope to be able to offer them more food. They don't seem to be interested in the skin by itself, so kind of experimenting to see if I can get them to eat some of the skin components. Oh wow, that's so nasty. <laughs> so as you can see, this avocado this avocado is really rotten and pretty gross inside, so perfect for the worms. Okay, so all that's left to do now is to add it to the worm bin. The bananas actually make it smell like oddly good. It kind of smells like banana bread. It's kind of gross and kind of good at the same time. So as you can see, that's quite a bit of moisture. So we're going to have to offset that a little bit with some brown material. Now, the last time I added material to this vermicompost, I added, um, I added our shredded documents and I've learned better since then. So what I prefer to add now is brown paper bag shredded up through our shredder. So while I don't think that using our old shredded documents is the worst idea in the world, I also don't think it's the best. I felt kind of guilty afterwards looking at some of like the neon colors and I had missed a few pieces of plastic and so if I could do it again, I would definitely start my worm bin off using just either newspaper or like brown paper bags from the store. So, so today I'm going to start amending this process and I'm going to start only using brown paper bags or newspaper. Well, that's it. Thank you so much for joining me today, you guys. I wanna say a huge thank you to those of you who A, made it to the end of this video, but B, continuously show up to support this channel because when you support our channel, you're supporting the dream of starting a healing homestead, a farm, a ranch of some kind to heal land, animals, and people where we're going to create a permaculture environment and then invite people for horticulture therapy, to invite people for equine therapy, we have a really big dream and a really big vision and every like, subscribe, and share helps us reach that goal. So thank you so much for being here and for supporting our channel. 
I am honored by your presence here. Thanks so much for being here, you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. If you guys have any tips or tricks, definitely leave them in the comments below. If you like this video or you like this video series, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you guys have requests, let me know. And of course, if you're not subscribed already, subscribe to the channel.